Okay, so we're remaking some guides for the trailer and we're gonna paint them so that way when we're backing the boat in and it's going underwater and everything we'll be able to see where they're at to line the boat up for taking it in and putting it out also make it easier for backing up hopefully my wife will be using this so it'll definitely make it a lot easier for her so we're gonna have the poles come out and then we're gonna have them elbow and come straight up so we can line the boat up to put it on these guys I guess found some what? You found some woolly bears? Baby ones. They're tiny. Baby woolly bears. Look at these guys. They're babies. And I know they're yep. woolly bears because they're brown in the middle, black yep. on the other side, other side. Black, black. and brown. They are There's cute. There's so many. Mommy. They are adorable. Cuties. Little fuzzy There's woolly so bears. Many. They're going everywhere. Yeah. Buddy, stay in the shovel. What? <laughs> they're like playing. Follow the leader. He's the All right. leader. All right, so let's start getting this thing together. All right, first thing we're going to want to put on is going to be the elbows. So, take that off and we'll thread this on. All right, so that's in there pretty good. Let's go ahead and attach the other end. All right, so we got that in there nice and good. And I'll show you. We're going to go ahead and attach that right there. And we're gonna attach down with these U-bolts. I put one right about there, one right about there. Go ahead and cut these and shorten them up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna cut about four inches off. And that's right around where the green is right there. Now, this will go right up on top and still gives the boat a little bit of space in there so you know where it's going up in there. It's not hanging way out in the road. All right, and we'll get the next one done. We're also going to put a top cap on it. That way it doesn't fill up with water. Go ahead and get this next one together.
So that's on there good and tight now. So let's go ahead and take four inches off this side now. That's gonna be about there. All right, so now we got them cut to size, got the elbows on, got them in, got the caps on. Let's go ahead and give them a nice uh, color. And I got some gloss citrus green paint and primer. So that'll stick out in the water and backing up. All right, so we're waiting for that to dry. Let's go ahead and get these all lined up and drilled out. So I got this piece in here, just to give me a, a rough estimate here. So we're gonna come out about two and a half inches and away from that right there because that way the pipe's fully up against here. And give it a little mark in front. And another little mark in front there. We can take that off. We can drill that out. And we'll do the one for right now, and we'll get that one mounted, and then we can put the second one on. All right, so they're dry now. I went ahead and flipped them, and let's go ahead and paint the other side now. Okay, now we got them all painted. Let's let this dry and then we can go ahead and start hooking them up over there. All right, so now that they're dry, let's go ahead and bring one over. What are you doing, chicken? Huh? All right. All right. So, this is where the 
first one's gonna be. Get, get it down in there. And some nuts on the other side. Actually, got this piece that's gonna go underneath. And we're gonna use a 7 16 to tighten it up on there. Okay, try to let go of it. Thank you. All right, so we'll straighten that up a little bit. And now we can drill holes for the other one. Then we'll get the bottom plate on and the two nuts. All right. All right, so that's on there now. That's the one side. And we'll go ahead and mount one on the other side. And that's definitely gonna make it easier for loading the boat and also seeing while backing up. So let's go ahead and do the other side now. Also, one more thing. If I do notice that it's bending or coming down or something, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down and then I'll put some tack welds in there to hold it into place. But that should work. good all right let's go ahead and finish tightening these out here you can see so it looks like underneath all right so those are on there nice and tight. And now you'll be able to see the boat, or see the be able to put the boat in, line it up, and that's all set now. All right, so stand by for a future video where we're gonna actually be doing all the wiring. We're gonna replace all the wiring and lights because uh, the goats ate it all. But hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.